This is the outside of a Barbie doll clothing store that I made a while back, and now I'm gonna make the inside. And I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the next Emily and Friends episode, and making the inside of the store is necessary for me to film the next episode, so that's why we're getting this done today. And yes, the store is called DD Designs for Delightful Dolls Designs. So I have the base of the room already made, but to start, I printed off this concrete paper on my printer, and I'm basically gonna cover the entire room in this. And unlike the outside of the store, I want this to be a bit of a brighter space, so I think the gray of the concrete will kind of help with that. This is what the room is looking like. And actually on the back wall over there, I'm gonna glue on these black bricks, which will kind of match the front of the store. I'm a little bit worried that the space is getting really dark, but hopefully it'll still look good and I won't regret everything I'm doing. Okay, so I covered the top half of the back wall with the dark brick, but then I cut a piece of foam board that fits in the bottom here. That I'm gonna cover in the same concrete paper. Yes, there's a lot of concrete going on and I'm hoping all this concrete will be for the best and it'll actually look good. And then I'm gonna glue that in place against the back wall. Okay, now that the somewhat boring part is over, we can actually get started with putting stuff into the room. So to start, I wanna make a little till area at the very back of the room. So I have some pieces of foam board. I have this big piece here and I'm gonna glue these smaller pieces to the sides. And then I cut a piece that will fit nicely on top, but I wanna spice up this piece a little bit. So I'm actually gonna cover it in this mirror paper. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then I'm gonna glue this piece on top for the countertop. As for these two corners over here, I wanna put some mannequins. This part gets a little scary. <laughs> so I have this Barbie mannequin with the head ripped off and the neck peg cut out. And I want a Ken doll because half the store is going to be Barbie clothes, half the store is gonna be Ken clothes. So I want a Ken mannequin as well. And I really like the natural pose that this Ken has going on. But unfortunately, that means we're gonna have to get rid of his head. This is a little bit sad, but I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> and if I break the neck peg, it doesn't matter. Then we need to get rid of it anyways. Ooh. Okay, that was very easy. <laughs> okay, as wrong as this feels, I'm going to cut off the neck peg. This literally feels so wrong because usually breaking a neck peg is the worst thing ever, but I'm going to purposely break it and get rid of it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go flying. Okay, there's still a little stub there, so I'm gonna try to like melt it down a bit with my hot glue gun. Actually, I think filing it down might be the method. I'm just using this pretty intense nail file. I think this is about as good as it's gonna get, but I cut out this little circle of black cardstock and I'm actually gonna just glue that on top strategically to cover everything. And also I think it'll just kind of look good. And I'm gonna do the same for the Barbie mannequin as well. And now I'm gonna dress them in some fun outfits that I wanna display in the store. Okay, and can we actually just take a moment to appreciate this outfit? Like this is one of my favorite Ken doll outfits ever. So probably not the best idea to be putting it on a mannequin that I'm gonna have to like remove the clothes from all the time. I'm just gonna use a regular Ken doll stand to display the mannequin on and then scoot him over into the corner. As for the Barbie mannequin, there are way more options I had to try to choose from for what to dress her in. But I think I kind of went with this look and I'm gonna scooch her over in the other corner. Now I went ahead and printed out the logo on some glossy paper. So I'm just gonna cut this out. And I also glued it to a piece of black foam board as well. And then I'm gonna glue it in place on the back wall at the top there. From here, the next thing I wanna do is work on making some shelving in the actual area where the clothes are gonna go. And I'm gonna start with the Barbie doll side. I was originally gonna use black foam board because it might match the vibe of the room better, but I actually think I'm gonna go with white foam board so we can kind of brighten up the space a bit and add a bit of contrast. So basically I'm just going to glue pieces of foam board together. I also cut a piece of wooden dowel that I'll use for a clothing rod, but before I glue it in place, I'm gonna paint it silver. 
and then I'm gonna glue that in place. And then I'm gonna glue this whole thing against the wall. I also cut out this really long strip of foam board that I'm gonna glue near the top of the wall here. And I'm gonna strategically try to cover the seam here as well. I've marked out three little spots on the wall here underneath the shelf. And using a toothpick, I'm gonna poke into the wall. And yes, I'm going, I'm going slightly above it just because I want to. And I'm gonna repeat that with these other two over here. And using the toothpick, I'm gonna widen up this hole as much as possible so it'll be big enough to fit a wooden dowel. And then I'm gonna cut a wooden dowel into some shorter pieces. And on the end of the little pieces, I'm going to make a ball of hot glue and carefully let that dry so that it looks good. This is a bit of a strategic maneuver here. And then I'm gonna paint it white. And actually, a quick change of plans, I wanna paint the silver instead. And then I'm going to glue it into the hole in the wall and repeat that with the other ones. And now as tempted as I am to just start filling up the shelves and putting all sorts of accessories and clothes in this area, we're gonna make the shelves for the Ken clothing section first. And it's gonna be very similar to the Barbie one, just a few slight changes. So the main difference of this one is I added this extra piece on top and I made these shelves over here a bit wider than the one on the Barbie side. And I'm gonna glue this against the wall. And then similar to how I did on the Barbie doll side, I'm gonna put two wooden dowels on this wall for some hooks. Now that I've glued the shelving in place, I wanna glue in some baseboards. So I just have some long strips of foam board that are half an inch wide. So I'm just gonna remove everything quickly and I'm gonna glue this in place. I printed out a bunch of stuff on some glossy paper and I'm not even sure what I'm all gonna actually use here, but to start, I'm gonna cut out these strips that I printed over here that match the color of the Dee Dee Design sign. And then to make this front counter a little bit more exciting, I think I'm gonna glue three of these strips onto the front. Then I'm gonna place it back into the room. I also did cut off this sail sign because I think it'll just kind of add a little bit more color to the room and I'm gonna put it behind the Ken mannequin over here. I also cut out another sail sign along with three photos that I've taken of some dolls that I think will kind of match the vibes of the store. I'm gonna kind of arrange them on this top shelf. I'm probably gonna rearrange them throughout the video, but just to have them there for now. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna fill all of these shelves with a bunch of doll clothes and stuff so it looks like the store is actually full. And I do have a fair amount of these little hangers already that I made out of paper clips or wire, but I don't have enough because we're gonna need a lot. So to make a bunch more, I'm gonna cut some pieces of wire and I'm basically just gonna fold it into the shape that I need. And I can kind of use another hanger for a bit of a guide. <laughs> This looks absolutely hideous. This is a horrible example, but usually they turn out a bit better than this. I'm gonna check this one out. Okay, I just made this one and I think it's at least a bit better. It takes some practice to get the hang of it. And for certain pieces like this dress where the hanger just really isn't big enough to hold it properly, I'll actually put some little dots of hot glue onto the hanger, just on the ends. So then the dress can actually be held in place. So I'm gonna hang a couple clothing items on these little knobs here too. And then I'm also gonna hang up a couple purses and then put this other bag over here. I'm actually gonna get rid of this dress because it's actually a little too long for the hanger area, so yeah. But I'm gonna put this jacket with a similar print instead. And then I'm gonna place some things on this shelf here, including some pants that I'm gonna fold up some shoes, and these silver sunglasses. I absolutely love these. And I think that filled up this side of the room pretty well. Also for on this top shelf, I'm actually pretty satisfied with how I arranged these pictures, but I'm also just going to put a little DD Designs bag up in the corner over there. I made this in the video where I made the outside of the store. Okay, now let's move on from this side of the store to this side, AKA, the boring side, <laughs> just kidding. But there definitely won't be as much excitement going on over on the Ken side, just because I don't have as many exciting Ken doll clothes. But I'm still gonna try my best. So I'm gonna hang some shirts on these knobs. This one's a little wrinkly, but uh, 
and then I like this little bomber jacket I'm gonna put over here. I'm gonna display these shoes underneath here. I'm trying to avoid stuff that have logos like the Nike logo, for example, but sometimes it's just unavoidable, especially with my Ken doll clothes. I'm very limited with options, so whatever. I'm gonna put some shoes over on these shelves. And then I'm gonna put some folded up pants on this top shelf here. And now because I feel like this space in the middle here is quite empty, I have this rectangle of white foam board and four smaller strips that I'm going to glue to the bigger piece. To make a little table to display some clothes on, as for actually putting stuff on the table, I'm just cutting out random pieces of fabric and then I cut out rectangles of cardstock and then wrap and glue the fabric around the cardstock. Oops. And I repeat that process to make a whole bunch more, two of each different fabric that I chose. And I'm gonna lay them out on this table to look like some folded up clothes on the table. And I might actually even glue these in place because realistically, I'm not gonna actually be moving them around that much. So I think I might glue them in place to make my life a bit easier. And to spice up this table just a bit more, I printed yet another sale sign that I'm gonna glue right onto the front there. And as for this back wall, I print off two large photos that I think will go really well with the room that I'm gonna glue on the back. I wanted to make a cash register from scratch for this room, but I'm running out of time to get this video out. Oops. So I just stole this one from the bakery. It's so old and really doesn't look very professionally done, but it's what we're working with here. And I think it'll do the trick for now until I make another one. And then over on this side, I wanna put a couple more of the DD Design bags. I placed it all behind the cash register in the back there, and I think it really brings the whole dynamic of the shop together. I also added a necklace to both the Barbie and the Ken mannequin, and I think that also added a nice little touch. But with that, this room is all completed, and I won't lie, I'm very happy with how this turned out. I definitely had my doubts going through the process, but I think it really all came together in the end. And I really like how we have both a Ken and a Barbie doll clothes section. And here's Emily in the space. so You can kind of get a better idea of how it would look with the doll actually shopping around in the store. And now I can finally get started on my next Emily and Friends episode because I know you guys have been waiting for it, but I just needed to get this store built for it. And now that we have the store, we can get the episode. So overall, I do really love how this turned out. I'm very curious to know what you guys think about it and what part is your favorite. I also think it does match perfectly with the outside of the store that we made a while back. So it kind of all just goes together really nicely. I really hope you did enjoy today's video and watching me through the process of making this store. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD Squad, AKA the best doll community out there. Yes, that is bias. <laughs> Love you guys so, so much and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.